Hello, good afternoon. It's Wendy here from Wendy's Craft and I'm an independent staff in the upper demonstrator living in Narbeth, Pembrokeshire. And that's all you need to put in is Wendy's Craft and, and it'll bring up anything, all my channels that I've got. You know, like Facebook, uh, Blogger, YouTube, um, oh, they've got a few others as well. Now then, unfortunately, I did start this earlier, about 10 minutes ago. So I paused it while I was doing all the black tape all the way around here, went to re, re thingy it, and I pressed the wrong button. So, as a ca catch up, I have here. Oh, don't keep moving like that. Right, I got card pieces. Now this card is comes from the packing. The cut, you know, some of the uh, DSPs might be a bit floppy, so they stamp it up, put these lovely cards in. So this is what I'm making this out of today. Now that I got two pieces of five by six. Okay, for the front and the back. This piece here is two inches by six inches. Now what I did was this tape here um I started using it because uh, paper grafting with Paul he's wonderful he does the most amazing um albums and oh wonderful I've actually made one of his boxes and I couldn't believe how it turned you know it looked so complicated but he made it so lovely right so that's right then I put tape first of all I put tape down there I put tape half on and then I did like that so that I could gauge, do you know what I mean? Because it's got to have a little bit of a an opening and closing sort of uh, room. Right, if you, if you can't get that, I will go back and do it again then. Now then, what I then went on to do, oh, that's it. I've also got three pages. They're five and a half by, five inches by six inches. And you score them as half an inch on the five on the five inch side. Score down half an inch. Right now, then, what I've got, I'm using. <laughs> Where are they? Right. I'm using <laughs> the papers and ephemera from Blackberry Beauty. It's the, um, it's in the, the little mini, the, in the new mini catalogue. I mean, look at this. Look. <laughs> Absolutely incredible papers. And, you know, I would recommend you buy this, this lot, this pack, just to look at it and stroke it. It is beautiful. Yeah. That might end up on the front cover yet, we don't know. So there's two of each. And it's just beautiful. So what I've done is I've, I've got an open pack over here. And where I got stuck was, because this is directional paper, me like a Muppet, what did I do? Yes. I cut them the wrong way round, didn't I? So now I've cut them the right way round. Mm, this doesn't look good, does it? I think my blades need changing. Uh, first thing I'm going to do though is to get some. Uh, oh, ah, 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 because I can't remember what colours go with this. So I'm just going to run round. Just to take away that, the whiteness. Now this is, this is only a small journal, but it might be something that, uh, you know, a gentleman that just likes to go away. You'll, you know, hold on, let me shut that window. Oh, they've been doing that for a week out there. I think they have a new kitchen. Right, just run, run it round. Um, and yes, and like I was saying, you know, there's some men that they just like having something to write in or, you know, take some photographs in, that sort of thing. You know, it's, I don't know. It's not, it's not all for women all the time. It's, you know, 
the poor men have got to have something nice as well. <laughs> right, now that I've gone round, what have I used it? Early espresso, just to go around the outside of it. Now that was my glue. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's been a funny one. Oh, look, I've, uh, this is the problem, isn't it? No, no, I'll have to stick with this one. But uh, what I have done, I've bought an extra pack as well. Because I like it so much. <laughs> you know, I, I never used to... What is wrong with this glue? God, I know what's wrong with it. it does. The hole got bunged up with glue when I shut it off. Right. I'm using the... Uh, Bookbinding glue here. Is it? Yeah, bookbinding glue because I have run out. Sorry. That's blood. Don't worry about that. It doesn't matter if you get a little spot on it. Nothing matters. If you know what I mean, that can stay because <coughs> it's going to have splits and plops on it all over the place right by the time I finished it in any case. Right. So I hope you've written all that down now, have you? Um, come on, don't want to be that thick, do you? Oh, this is coming a little more gloopy now. Oh dear. Right, make sure it's going the right way round. Try and line them up as best you can as well. Now then, I haven't put anything here because this is where the pages are going, okay? Right, where have I put them? Now, what you do here, I'll do one and then I'll uh, I'll try and pause it again. <laughs> right, yeah, like I said, five inches scored at half an inch. What that does then, you see, is... When you open and close the album, I hope this is going to work, you're not sticking out the other side of the album. I said it looks a bit big, didn't it? It is a bit big. Where's my little cut in? No, it is a speck on, actually. If it's too big, I'll cut a bit off. Don't worry about it. Right, what you do, you get your finger tape, or finger lift tape, I think it's called. Stop doing that, Wendy. Make sure that it's on. And my other, my other scoreboard's gone, my other scoring tool is gone now. Oh, what is it happening? Right, now then, I rub that down very hard. Then you take your whatever, however you use, whatever you use to take off the bit of paper and then put some glue on it as well. Because that'll be extra little bit of uh, a sticky for it. Right, now then what I'm going to do here, I hope you can see all this, is I'm going to lay that just before the hinge be as straight as possible okay we don't want to go over the hinge so you can see that I've made a little gully this and then go over that with that's there that's there that's there that's there try doing it straight Wendy and then you'll be a lot better there we go so now I'll go off now and I'll put all of these in here and I'll come back to you, hopefully. See you soon. Right, I'm just coming back now. So I put the tape and the, the glue on there. What I want to do now, I want to show you this. Just butt it up as close as you can there and make sure that it's lined up. Sometimes we don't put the first one in right and in all of that stuff. So put it like that, okay? Now then, give it a good... Whoosh. Ugh, not that much, it comes out, yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't go, yeah, should I really? Naughty Wendy. And then you've got a choice here. You could either put that like that, or you could put it like that. 
no rhyme or reason, but I think sometimes, well, what it is, right, you do that, and you've only got, you haven't got much between there, have you? So I like to do it like that, but then it also gives you a little bit of an edge then as well. Going down there. So back in a bit. Right, so I put all the glue on there. So now I'm going to do exactly the same again. Do it like that. Lift it up to make sure that you've covered the area there. And that is also nice and flush. Right, turn this over now. And... Give it a press. Whoops. Where's my... Don't worry about it going over because it will dry clear. So, you can see there where I made that mistake on that one. So all you need to do, you cut that bit off. Well, this is easy. There we go. So that's cut off. So now you have got the start of a journal. Now what you're going to do from here is go back to your little dens and cover the front, the back and the spine in whatever papers you use. I'm going to try and make the papers the same paper in, you know, if I've got this on the inside, I'm going to try and do that one on the outside, if you know what I mean. So, you carry on with that, and uh, we will see how you all go. Because there's lots more to do on this, but if I if now I've walked you through the ring bit, you should be all right for the rest of the way. So, you carry on with yours now. If you get any questions, just stop and ask me, because what I might do later on, I might do the middle bits as well, I don't know. But that is the basis. Basic? Bases? Base. That, right? Oops. That is the base of my journal. And you've got half an inch gaps between all of them. And uh, see, it all works out tidy. Okay, so hopefully you'll have fun doing that. Try do it and then um, get back to me. And show me what you've done or just tell me what you've done. Okay then, see you soon. Bye. If you like, subscribe.